Each year, the population of Indonesia is increasing. It is currently leading as the fourth country with the most population in the world. Islam holds the majority for the religion in most Indonesian. That means Indonesia sends the largest amount of Hajj pilgrims each year and in 2017, Indonesia sends more than 200,000 Jama'ah for Hajj pilgrimage. We did some interviews in Asrama Haji to collect information regarding the current pilgrimage system in Indonesia. Pagi Pak. Ya pagi. Oke, mau tanya Pak, uh, sudah pernah makin naik haji? Iya pernah nih, sekitar lima tahun yang lalu. Oh lima tahun yang lalu deh. Iya. Iya. Uh, waktu itu bagaimana prosesnya Pak? Kita ingat? Iya, saya lupa lupa karena travel yang urus kan. Oh, di terus sama travel? Iya. Tidak pergi ke Kementerian Agama begitu-begitu? Tidak, saya terima jari, jadi travel anu kan semua. Oh, waktu selama kita di sana, Pak, banyak ketemu orang-orang di sana, Pak? Iya, banyak. Ada yang kaki-kaki, mie tua, apa tuh, dari berbagai negara juga. Oh, iya. Ada yang sakit itu, Pak? Kalau yang sakit, ya ada kayak batuk-batuk, kik, luki, begitu tuh. Oh, ada beberapa, Dik? Iya, ada beberapa kalau batuk-batuk, Pak. Oh, uh, Pak, mau kak tanya, Pak, uh, kita tahu tidak namanya K3JH? K3JH itu yang... Kartu kesehatan itu dari dokter kayaknya. Iya, yeah, iya. Yeah. Kartu dokter. Iya, yeah, Pak, yang itu, Pak. Iya. Yeah. Uh, ada waktu pulang kita ada kembali ke dokter, Pak? Uh, iya, lupa, Min. Nggak kayaknya, saya lupa, Min. Oh, Nggak kita... kayaknya. Oh, kita tahu, Ji, bilang harus dikes kembali? Iya, yeah, tahu, Ji. Tapi saya lupa. Oh, iya, yeah, iya. Yeah. Waktu pulang, Pak, ada... Waktu itu kita ingat ada sakit-sakit apa, Ki, waktu pulang? Uh, kalau saya tidak, Ji. Cuman keluarga aku, Ji. Kayak batuk-batuk, Ki. Flu, oh, Ki, begitu. Tapi semua, Ji, sendiri. Oh, semua, Ji, sendiri? Iya. Oh, iya, iya. Itu jiparing, Pak. Makasih, Pak. Iya, yeah, iya, yeah, sama-sama. The current surveillance system shows that there are low number of K3JH or Kartu Kuaspadaan Kesehatan Jemaah Haji or the Health Alert Card. They are returned to the public health clinic by the Hajj pilgrims themselves. Suppose Miss Nabila, a 20 years old citizen of Indonesia who is planning for a Hajj pilgrimage. After the announcement of her departure, she would have to go to the Immigration and the Ministry of Religious Affairs. In the Ministry of Religious Affairs, she would receive some prerequisites for her departure including the obligation to do health checkups. The documents that she received would be important for the data collection and funding of the health checkup itself. The health checkup would be conducted as well as vaccinations according to her previous vaccination records before the departure. The local doctor will have to collect the data of Miss Nabila, including the contact details and the arrival date through the mapping system in the public health clinic. After her arrival, Miss Nabila would be given the KTGJH or Kartu Kuaspadaan Kesehatan Jamaah Haji or the Health Alert Card after her Hajj pilgrimage is completed. She would receive a short message service from the public health clinic in the purpose to remind her to collect the KTGJH or the health alert clinic back to the public health clinic itself. Indonesia with the largest number of Hajj pilgrims would need more systematic surveillance as well as prevention and control of infection after the Hajj pilgrims return. The importance of our devotion to God indeed should be prioritized. But health should always come first because health divines how we can internalize those devotion to God continuously.